center of mass black dot, and the baseball bat flipped into the air follows a parabolic path, but all other points of the bat follow more complicated curved paths. X. Shifting the axis does not change the relative position of the comb. 216. Chapter 9 Center of Mass and Linear Momentum A mass is still the same distance from each particle. The comb is a property of the physical particles, not the coordinate system we happen to use. We can rewrite in Q.92 as XCOM M1 by 1 meter to XCOM 9 in which which M is the total mass of the system. Here, MM1 M2. Many particles. We can extend this equation to a more general situation in which N particles are strung out along the x-axis. Then the total mass is M. M1, M2, Mn, and the location of the center of mass is M1 by 1 meter 2 by 2 meters 3 x 3 x c o n m 1 m n i mixi 1 m n x n The subscript i i s an index that takes on all integer values from 1 to n 9 to 4 3 dimensions if the particles are distributed in three dimensions, the center of mass must be identified by three coordinates. By extension of EQ.94, they are N, X, C, O, M, 1, M, N, 1, Mixi, Y, C, O, M, M, I, 1, M, I, 1, Z, C, O, M, 1, center of mass with the language of vectors. First recall that the position of a particle in coordinates x, y, and z is given by a position vector, it points from the origin to the particle. 3. Sheet v, j, zip. 9 to 6. Here the index identifies the particle, and i, j, and k are unit vectors pointing, respectively, in the positive direction of the x, y, and z axes. Similarly, the position of the center of mass of a system of particles is given by a position vector. then become differential mass elements dm. The sums of E2, 9 to 5 become integrals, and the coordinates of the center of mass are defined as xcom, 1m, xcom, ycom, 1m, ym, zcom, 1m, zdm. 9 to 9. Where is now the mass of the object? 
The intervals effectively allow us to use the average 9 to 5 for a huge number of particles in an effort that otherwise would take many years. Evaluating these integrals for most common objects, such as a television set or a moose, will be difficult, so here we consider only a uniform object. Such objects have uniform density, or mass per unit volume, that is, the density R Greek letter. It is the same for any given element of an object as for the whole object. For making 1A, we can write 9 to 10 squared this is the volume Occupied by a mass element dm, and this the total volume of the object. Substituting dm m v d v from eq.910 into eq.99 gives 9 to 11. Symmetry is a shortcut. We can bypass one or more of these integrals if an object has a point, a line, or a plane of symmetry. The center of mass of such an object then lies at that point, on that line, or in that plane. For example, the center of mass of a uniform sphere which has a point of symmetry is at the center of the sphere which is the point of symmetry. The center of mass of a uniform cone whose axis is a line of symmetry lies on the axis of the cone. The center of mass of a banana which has a plane of symmetry that splits it into two equal parts lies somewhere in the plane of symmetry. The center of mass of an object need not lie within the object. There is no at the palm of a donut, and no iron at the palm of a horseshoe. XCOM1BXDV, YCOM1BYDV, ZCOM1BZDV, RDMDVMV, 2179, center of mass size, big point 9.3. The three particles then have the following coordinates. Particle mass kilogram x cm y cm 11.2002.5140033.470120 The total mass mass the system is 7.1 kilogram. From here, 9 to 5, the coordinates of the center of mass are answer and answer in big point 93. The center of mass is located by the position vector, which has components x and andy com. If we had chosen some other orientation of the coordinate system, these coordinates would be different but the location of the com relative to the particles would be the same. R, com 58 centimeters. One point two kilograms zero three point five kilograms zero three point four kilograms one hundred twenty centimeters seven point one kilograms Y C O M one N zero one E M one 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 meter two Y two meters three Y three M eighty three centimeters one point two kilograms zero two point five kilograms one hundred forty centimeters four kilograms seventy centimeters 7.1 kilograms x com 1 m 3 i 1 m c m 1 by 1 meter 2 by 2 meters 3 x 3 m sample problem 9.01 com of 3 particles 3 particles of mass of m 1 1.2 kilograms m 2 2.5 kilograms and m 3 3.4 kilograms form an equilateral triangle of edge length of 140 cm where is the center of mass of this system? The idea we are dealing with particles instead of an extended solid body, so we can use EQ.95 to locate their center of mass.
The particles are in the plane of the equilibrium angle, so we need only the first two equations. Calculations. We can simplify the calculations by choosing the x handy axis so that one of the particles is located at the origin and the z-axis coincides with one of the triangles. Figure 9 to 3. Three particles form an equilateral triangle of edge length. The center of mass is located by the position of R. Y X O five O one hundred one five O five O one hundred one five O Y C O M X C O M M one meter two cubic meters R C O M A A zero This is the position vector R com for the com it points from the origin to the com. Additional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley Plus. 218 Chapter 9 Center of Mass and the Center, center Location Plate of Mass of Com Mass P Com XP NKS Coms XSR Ms. C Com CXC 0 Ms. MKS Mass MS of Discs is concentrated in a particle at XSR and Mass MPIs concentrated in a particle ATXP Big Point 940 Next pay use EQ.925 the center of mass SSPOF, the two particle system. 9 to 12. Next note that the combination of this sand plate pies composite plate see thus. The position XSPOF must coincide with the position X cop com C, which is at the origin, so XSPXC0. Substituting this into EQ.9, we get 9 to 13. We can relate these masses to the base areas of S and PBY, noting that mass density, volume density, thickness area. Then, because the plate is uniform, the densities and thicknesses are equal. We are left with substituting this in XS Rinto EQ.913. We have answer XP13 RPR2P, 2R2P R213. This MP areas area P areas area C areas MP density X density P thickness thickness P areas area P. XP XS Ms. MP. XS PMS XS MP XP Ms. MP. Sample problem 9.02 com of plate with missing piece. This sample problem has lots of words to read, but they will allow you to calculate a common with an easy algebra instead of challenging integral calculus. Figure 9 to 4 a shows a uniform metal plate POF radius 2R from which a disc of radius has been stamped out removed in an assembly line. The disc is shown in Fig.9 for me. Using the XC coordinate system shown, locate the center of mass com P of the remaining plate. PID is one that is roughly locate the center of plate P using symmetry. We note that the plate is symmetric about this axis, we get the portion below that axis by rotating the upper portion about the axis. Thus, com P must be on this axis. The plate with the disc removed is not symmetric about the axis. However, because there is somewhat more mass on the right of the axis, com P must be somewhat to the right of the axis. Thus, the location of comp should be roughly as indicated in Fig. 9 plate ties and extended solid body, so in principle we can use EQ's point 911 to find the actual coordinates of the center of mass of plate P. Here we want the X coordinates of the center of mass because the plate is spinning uniform. If it had any appreciable thickness, we would just say that the center of mass is midway across the thickness. 
still, to use point nine eleven would be challenging because we would need a function for the shape of the plate with its hole, and then we would need to integrate the function in two dimensions. Here is a much easier way. In working with centers of mass, we can assume that the mass of a uniform object, as we have here, is concentrated in a particle at the object's center of mass. Thus we can treat the object as a particle and avoid any two-dimensional integration. Calculations First, put the stamped out disk, all of this gas, back into place, big point nine four C, preparing the original composite plate, call it plate C. Because of its circular symmetry, the center of mass common for disks is at the center of S, at XR, is shown. The center of mass com C for composite plates is at the center of C, at the origin as shown. We then have the following additional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley Plus Checkpoint. The figure shows a uniform square plate from which four identical squares at the corners will be removed. And here is the center of mass of the plate originally. Where is it after the number of feet square 1, seat squares 1 and 2, seat squares 1 and 3, feet squares 1, 2, and 3, F all four squares? Answer in terms of quadrants, axes, are points without calculation, of course y x 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, 1, center of mass. 219 Y R A S S Y Coms B Y A 2 R Com Plate P X Assume the place mass is concentrated as a particle in the plate center of mass. Here too, assume the mass is concentrated as a particle at the center of mass. Composite plate C equals S plus P. Com C. C. D. Com's disc particle. Com C. Com. Plate particle. Here too. Here are those three particles. X. The com of the composite plate is the same as the com of the two pieces. For a plate P is a metal plate of radius 2R, with a circular hole of radius R the center of mass of P is at point com. This guest C this guess has been put back into place to form a composite plate C. The center of mass com of this guess and the center of mass com C of plate C are shown. Meet the center of mass comms P of the combination of S and P coincides with com C, which is an X0. 220. Chapter 9 Center of Mass and Linear Momentum. 9 to 2 Newton's second law for a system of particles. Learning the basics. After reading this module, you should be able to. 9.0 apply Newton's second law to a system of particles by relating the net force of the forces acting on the particles to the acceleration of the system's center of mass. 9.05 apply the constant acceleration equations to the motion of the individual particles in a system and to the motion of the system's center of mass. 9.06 Given the mass and velocity of the particles in the system, calculate the velocity of the system's center of mass. 9.07 Given the mass and acceleration of the particles in a system, calculate the acceleration of the system's center of mass. Key idea. 
3.08 given the position of a system center of mass is a function of time, determine the velocity of the center of mass. 9.09 given the velocity of a system center of mass is a function of time, determine the acceleration of the center of mass. 9.10 Calculate the change in the velocity of a comm by integrating the comm's acceleration function with respect to time. 9.11 Calculate a comm's displacement by integrating the comm's velocity function with respect to time. 9.12 When the particles in a two-particle system move without the system's calm moving, remove the displacement of the particles and the velocity of the particles. Filled circle The motion of the center of mass of any system of particles is governed by Newton's second law for a system of particles, which is net, ma, calm, dot, here, F, net. The net force of all the external forces acting on the system, N is the total mass of the system, and acceleration of the system center of mass, colon, A, com, is the Newton's second law for a system of particles. Now that we know how to locate the center of mass in a system of particles, we discuss how external forces can move a center of mass. Let us start with a simple system of two billiard balls. If you roll a two ball and a second billiard ball that is at rest, we expect that the two ball system will continue to have some forward motion after impact. You would be surprised, for example, if both balls came back toward you or if both moved to the right or the left. You already have an intuitive sense that something continues to move forward. What continues to move forward, if steady motion completely unaffected by the collision, is the center of mass of the two ball system. If you focus on this point, which is always halfway between these bodies because they have identical masses, you can easily convince yourself by trial at a billiard table that this is so. No matter whether the collision is glancing, head-on, or somewhere in between, the center of mass continues to move forward, as if the collision had never occurred. Let us look into this center of mass motion in more detail. Motion of the system's calm. To do so, we replace the pair of billiard balls with a system of n particles of different masses. We are interested not in the individual motions of these particles but only in the motion of the center of mass of the system. Although the center of mass is just a point, it moves like a particle whose mass is equal to the total mass of the system. We can assign a position, a velocity, and an acceleration to it. State and shall prove next that the vector equation that governs the motion of the center of mass of such a system of particles is F ma net com system of particles 9 to 14. This equation is Newton's second law for the motion of the center of mass of a system of particles. Note that its form is the same as the form of the equation. 92 Newton's second law for a system of particles. 221. F net. Ma smiley face. For the motion of a single particle. However, the three quantities that appear in the must be evaluated with some care. 1. A, F, net, is the net force of all external forces that act on the system. The forces on one part of the system from another part of the system, internal forces, are not included in EQ.9 
914. Calm. 2. Miss the total mass of the system. We assume that no mass enters or leaves the system as it moves. So the inner remains constant. The system is said to be closed. 3. Is the acceleration at the center of mass of the system? Equation 9 to 14 gives no information about the acceleration of any other point of the system. A. Net. A. Com. Equation 9 to 14 is equivalent to three equations involving the components of N. Along the three coordinate axes. These equations are. F net x macum x f net y macum y f net z macum z opening parenthesis 9 15 closing parenthesis billiard balls now we can go back and examine the behavior of the billiard balls once the cue ball has begun to roll, no that external force acts on the two ball system. Thus, because F net 0 EQ 9 to 14 tells us that 0 also. Because the acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, we conclude that the velocity at the center of mass of the system of two balls does not change. When the two balls collide, the forces that come in are internal forces on one ball from the other. Such forces do not contribute to the net force. F. Net. It remains zero. The center of mass of the system, which was moving forward before the collision, must continue to move forward after the collision, with the same speed and in the same direction. F. Solid body. Equation 9 to 14 applies not only to a system of particles but also to a solid body, such as the that of Big. 9 to 1 B. In that case, M and E2, 9 to 14 is the mass of the bad and net A G that com dot is the gravitational force on the bat. Equation 9 to 14 then tells us. In other words, the center of mass of the bat moves as if the bat were a single particle of mass M, with force acting on it. G. Exploding bodies. Figure 9 to 5 shows another interesting case. Suppose that at a fireworks display, a rocket is launched on a parabolic path. At a certain point, it explodes into fragments. If the explosion had not occurred, the rocket would have continued along the trajectory shown in the figure. The forces of the explosion are internal to the system. At first the system is just the rocket, and later it is its fragments, that is, they are forces on parts of the system from other parts. In air drag, the net external force, F, net, A. The system is the gravitational force on the system, regardless of whether the rocket explodes. Thus, from EQ, 914, the acceleration. Com, G, means equal to, of the center of mass of the fragments while they are in flight 3. Dot. This means that the center of mass of the fragments follows the same parabolic trajectory that the rocket would have followed had it not exploded. Ballet Leap When a ballet dancer leaps across the stage in a grand jeté, she raises her arms and stretches her legs out horizontally as soon as her feet leap up. Figure 9 to 5A fireworks rocket explodes in flight. In the absence of air drag, 
the center of mass and will continue to follow the original parabolic path until fragments began to hit the ground. The internal forces of the explosion cannot change the path of the comet. Stage 5.96 these actions shift her center of mass upward from her body. Although the shifting center of mass faithfully follows the parabolic path across the stage, its movement relative to the body decreases the height that is attained by her head and torso, relative to that of a normal jump. The result is that the head and torso follow a nearly horizontal path, giving an illusion that the dancer is floating. Proof of equation 9 to 14 now let us prove this important equation. From EQ.98 we have, for a system of n particles, 9 to 16, in which ms the system's total mass after locating the position of the system's center of mass. Differentiating EQ.9 to 16 with respect to time gives 9 to 17 here is the velocity of the ITH particle and is the velocity of the center of mass. Differentiating EQ.917 with respect to time leads to 9 to 18 here is the acceleration of the ITH particle and is the acceleration of the center of mass. Although the center of mass is just a geometrical point, it has a position, a velocity, and an acceleration, as if it were a particle. From Newton's second law, it is equal to the resultant force that acts on these particles. Thus, we can rewrite EQ.918 as 9 to 19 among the forces that contribute to the right side of EQ.919 are the forces that the particles of the system exert on each other, internal forces, and forces exerted on the particles from outside the system, external forces. By Newton's third law, the internal forces form third law force pairs and cancel out in the sum that appears on the right side of EQ, 9 to 19. What remains is the vector sum of all the external forces that act on the system. Equation 9 to 19 then reduces to EQ.914, the relation that we set out to prove. Com F1, F2, F3, Fn. Phi, Mi, A, Com DV, Com DTA, IDV, IPT Ma, Com M1 A1, M2 A2, M3 A3, Mn A N versus Com Doctor, Com PTV, Dry Skeptical Smiley Face DTMB, Com M1B1, M2B2, M3B3, MNBN, RCOM, Mr. Com M1R1, M2R2, M3R3, MNRN, 222 Chapter 9 Center of Mass and Linear Momentum Path of Head Path of Center of Mass Figure 9 to 6A Grand Chate. Based on the Physics of Dance, by Kenneth Laws, Shermer Books, 1984. 22392 Newton's second law for a system of particles checkpoint 22 skaters on frictionless ice on the ends of a pole of negligible mass. Mass along it, with the origin at the center of mass of the two skater system. One skater, Craig, weighs twice as much as the other skater, Ethel. Where do the skaters meet? Craig goes hand over hand along the pole so as to draw himself to Ethel. B. Ethel pulls hand over hand to draw herself to Fred, and C. Both skaters pull hand over hand. 
Sample problem 9.0 The palm of three particles If the particles in a system all move together, the palm moves with them, but what happens when they move in different directions with different accelerations? Here is an example. The three particles in Fig.9-7 air initially at rest. Each experiences an external force due to bodies outside the three particle system. The directions are indicated, and the magnitudes are F16.0 n, F212 n, and F314 n. What is the acceleration of the center of mass of the system, and in what direction does it move? PIV is the position of the center of mass is marked by a dot in the figure. You can treat the center of mass as if it were a real particle, with a mass equal to the system's total mass M16 kg. We can also treat the three external forces as if they act at the center of mass Fig.97 B. Calculations. We can now apply Newton's second law to the center of mass. Writing 9 to 20, or so 9 to 21, equation 9 to 20 tells us that the acceleration of the center of mass is in the same direction as the net external force on the system 3.97 B. Because the particles are initially at rest, the center of mass must also be at rest. As the center of mass then begins to accelerate, it must be applied in the common direction of and we can evaluate the right side of EQ.921 directly on a vector capable calculator, or we can rewrite EQ. 9 to 21 in component form. Find the components of and then find along the axis. We have 6.0 n 12 n plus 45 14 n 16 kilograms 1.03 meters per square second. A com xf1 xf2 xf3 xma com a com f net a com f net a com a com f1 F2, F3, M. F1, F2, F3, Ma, Com F, Net Ma, Com F, Net Ma smiley face figure 9 to 7 A3 particles, initially addressed in the positions shown, are actually on by the external forces shown. The center of mass calm of the system is marked. These forces are now transferred to the center of mass of the system. It behaves like a particle with a mass equal to the total mass of the system. The net external force and the acceleration of the center of mass are shown. A. Com F. We have from these components, we find that has the magnitude answer, and the angle from the positive direction of the axis answer tan y a com, y a com, x27. 1.16 meters per second to 1.2 meters per second to a com to a com, x2 a com. Y2A, COM 12 n SIN 450, 16 kg 0.530 m per second 2, a COM, YF1, YF2, YF3, YM. 224. Chapter 1. 
chapter 9 center of mass and linear momentum 9 free linear momentum learning objectives after reading this module you should be able to 9.13 identify that momentum is a vector quantity and thus has both magnitude and direction and also components 9.14 Calculate the linear momentum of a particle is the product of the particle's mass and velocity. 9.15 Calculate the change in momentum, magnitude and direction when a particle changes its speed and direction of travel. Key Ideas 9.16 Apply the relationship between a particle's momentum and the net force acting on the particle. 9.17 Calculate the momentum of a system of particles as the product of the system's total mass and its center of mass velocity. 9.18 Apply the relationship between a system's center of mass momentum and the net force acting on the system. Build circle for a single particle, define a quantity called its linear momentum as mv, p, comma, which is a vector quantity that has the same direction as the particle's velocity. We can write Newton's second law in terms of this momentum, f, net, p, dp, Bt. Build circle for a system of particles whose relations become dt, dt, mv, com, and f, net, linear momentum. Here we discuss only a single particle instead of a system of particles, in order to define two important quantities. Then we shall extend those definitions to systems of many particles. E. The first definition concerns a familiar word, momentum, that has several meanings in everyday language but only a single precise meaning in physics and engineering. The linear momentum of a particle is a vector quantity, defined as P, MV. That is, linear momentum of a particle versus P versus P 9 to 22, in which M is the mass of the particle and is its velocity. The adjective linear is often dropped, but it serves to distinguish from angular momentum, which is introduced in chapter 11 and which is associated with rotation. Since M is always a positive scalar quantity, EQ, 9 to 22 tells us that it has the same direction. From the SI unit for momentum is the kilogram meter per second kgm s. Momentum. Newton expressed his second law of motion in terms of momentum. The time rate of change of the momentum of the particle is equal to the net force acting on the particle and is in the direction of that force. In equation form this becomes dt f net dt in words eq 9 to 23 says that the net external force means particles linear momentum dot 9 to 23 f net on a particle changes conversely the linear momentum can be p changed only by a net external force if there is no net external force cannot change as we shall see in module 9 to 5 this last fact can be an extremely powerful tool in solving problems p 9-3 linear momentum 225 Manipulating angular 9-23 to 23 
by substituting for from EQ. 9 to 22 gives for constant mass M. DP, F, net, thus, relations, F, net, DT, DP skeptical smiley face, DT, DDT, MB smiley face, and, F, net, Newton's second law of motion for a particle, 0.3. The figure gives the magnitude TOF the linear momentum versus time TFOR a particle moving along an axis. A force moving along the axis acts on the particle. A rank of four regions indicated according to the magnitude of the force. Greatest first. B. In which region is the particle flowing? FBD. DT. Ma. Ma. Are equivalent expressions of P, 2, 1, the linear momentum of a system of particles, 3, 4, T. Let's extend the definition of linear momentum to a system of particles. Consider a system of n particles, each with its own mass, velocity, and linear momentum. The particles may interact with each other, and extreme forces may act on them. The system as a whole has a total linear momentum which is defined to be the exact sum of the individual particles' linear momentum. Thus, P, comma, P, P, 1, M1 versus 1, P, 2, P, 3, M2 versus, 2, E, N, M3 versus, 3. If we compare this equation with EQ.917, we see that, E, M, B, Com, M, N, B, N, 9.4, Linear Momentum, System of Particles, 9 to 25, which is another way to define the linear momentum of a system of particles. The linear momentum of a system of particles is equal to the product of the total mass m of the system and the velocity of the center of mass. Force momentum. If we take the time derivative of e2, 9 to 25, the velocity can change but not the mass we find. dp, dt, mdb, com, dt, ma, com, 9 to 26. Comparing e2, 14 and 9 to 26 allows us to write Newton's second law for a system of particles in the equivalent form. F, dp, dt, net, where, f, net, system of particles, 9 to 27, is the net external force acting on the system. This equation is the generalization of the single particle equation. F. Net. DP skeptical smiley face DT. To a system of many particles. In words, the equation says that the net external force P. P. F. Net. On a system of particles changes the linear momentum of the system. Conversely, the linear momentum can be changed only by a net external force. If there is no net external force, it cannot change. Again, this fact gives us an extremely powerful tool for solving problems. 226 Chapter 9 Center of Mass and Linear Momentum 9 to 4 Collision and Impulse After reading this module, you should be able to 9.19 Identify that impulse is a vector quantity and thus has both magnitude and direction and also components. 9.20 Apply the relationship between impulse and momentum change. 
relationship between impulse, average force, and the time interval taken by the impulse. 9.22 apply the constant acceleration equations to relate impulse to average force. 9.23 given force is a function of time, the the impulse, and thus also the momentum change by integrating the function. 9.24 given a graph of force versus time, calculate the impulse, and thus also the momentum change by graphical integration. 9.25 in a continuous series of collisions by projectiles, calculate the average force on the target by relating it to the rate at which mass collides into the velocity change experienced by each projectile. Filled circle applying Newton's second law in momentum form to a particle like body involved in a collision leads to the impulse linear momentum here. Where is the change in the body's linear moment P? FP, IP, P, FP, IP, J. Filled circle when a steady stream of bodies, each with mass mon speed D, collides with a body whose position is fixed. The average force on the fixed body is where and tis the rate at which the bodies collide with the fixed body, and this the change in velocity of each colliding body. This average force can also be written as where and tis the rate at which mass collides with the fixed body. The change in velocity is B2 the bodies stop upon impact and B2 B they bounce directly backward with no change in their speed. Fab NTP NTM versus learning objectives the ideas tum and is the impulse the force exerted on the body by the other body in the collision filled circle is the average magnitude of during the collision F sat base TJ TF TF sat base TJ F sat base TJ and tis the duration of the collision then for one dimensional motion J fab T Collision and impulse and momentum of any particle in the body cannot change unless a net external force changes it. For example, you can push on the body to change its momentum. More dramatically, you could arrange for the body to collide with a baseball bat. In such a collision or crash, the external force on the body is great, has large magnitude, and suddenly changes the body's momentum. Collisions occur commonly in our world, but before we get to them, we need to consider a simple collision in which a moving particle-like body a collides with some other body at the target. Collision let the projectile be a ball and the target be a bat. The collision is brief, and the ball experiences a force that is great enough to slow, stop, or even reverse its motion. Figure 9 to 8 depicts the collision at one instant. The ball experiences a force that varies during the collision and changes the linear momentum of the ball. That P, the collision of a ball with a bat collapses part of the ball. Photo by Harold B. Edgerton. Copyright by Harold and Esther Edgerton Family Press. Courtesy of Palm Press. Ink change of velocity to force by Newton's second law written in the form by rearranging this second law expression. We see that, in time interval dt, the change in the ball's momentum is 9 to 28 dp, sad face t dt. F, dp skeptical smiley face dt. Find the net change in the ball's momentum due to the collision if we integrate both sides of the point 928 from a time t just before the collision to a time tf just after the collision. 
29, the left side of this equation gives us the change in momentum. The right side, which is a measure of both the magnitude and the duration of the collision force, is called the impulse of the collision. Impulse defined. 9 to 30 plus. The change in an object's momentum is equal to the impulse on the object. Impulse theorem. 9 to 31 This expression can also be written in the vector form 9 to 32 And in such component forms as PSJX 9 to 33 And 9 to 34 Integrating the force If we have a function for we can evaluate And thus the change in momentum By integrating the function if we have a plot of versus time t, we can evaluate by finding the area between the curve and the t-axis, such as in fix point nine nine a. In many situations we do not know how the force varies with time but we do know the average magnitude back off the force and the duration t t t of the collision. Then we can write the magnitude of the impulse as j fab t. 9 to 35 the average force is plotted versus time as in fig.99 b. The area under that curve is equal to the area under the curve for the actual force at t. In 9.9 abacause both areas are equal to the force magnitude j. Instead of the ball, we could have focused on the bat in fig.98. Newton's third law tells us that the force on the bat has the same magnitude in the opposite direction as the force on the ball. This means that the impulse on the bat has the same magnitude in the opposite direction as the impulse on the ball. J. F. J. X. F. Base. T. P. F. X. Fix. T. F. T. F. X. D. T. P. F. P. I. J. P. J. J. T. F. T. F. Sad. Base. T. D. T. J. P. F. P. I. P. T. F. T. F. P. T. F. T. F. Sad. Base. T. D. T. 22794 collision and impulse figure 9 to 8 force acts on a ball as the ball is in the back fly. F sad face T X bad ball F T figure 9 to 9 8 the curve shows the magnitude of the time varying force F T that acts on the ball with the collision of fig.98. The area under the curve is equal to the magnitude of the impulse on the ball in the collision. V the height of the rectangle represents the average force back acting on the ball over the time interval t. The area within the rectangle is equal to the area under the curve in A and thus is also equal to the magnitude of the impulse in the collision. J J T F J F T T F increment T increment T T T F fab T F T J B B the impulse in the collision is equal to the area under the curve. The average force gives the same area under the curve. Checkpoint for a character whose shoot fails to open lands in snow. He is hurt slightly. Had he landed on bear ground, the stopping time would have been 10 times shorter and the collision lethal. Does the presence of the snow increase, decrease, or leave unchanged the values of A? The paratroopers change in momentum, B. The impulse stopping the paratrooper, and C. The force stopping the paratrooper. Series of collisions now let's consider the force on a body when it undergoes a series of identical, repeated collisions. For example, as a prank, we might adjust one of those machines that fire tennis balls to fire them at a rapid rate directly at a wall. It will produce a force on the wall, but that is not the force we are seeking. Chapter 9 Center of Linear Momentum
item. Target. Projectiles. Figure 9 is in a steady stream of projectiles, with identical linear momenta, collides with the target, which is fixed in place. The average force map on the target is to the right and has a magnitude that depends on the rate at which the projectiles collide with the target, and the rate at which mass collides with the target. Plot the average force fab on the wall during the bombardment, that is, the average force during a large number of collisions. MV. In Fig. 910, a steady stream of projectile bodies, with identical mass M and linear momenta, moves along an x-axis and collides with a target body fixed in place, it led into the number of projectiles that collide in a time interval t. Because the motion is along only the x-axis, we can use the components of the momenta along that axis. Thus, each projectile has initial momentum mv and undergoes a change t in linear momentum because of the collision. The total change in linear momentum for n projectiles during interval t is np, the resulting impulse j. On the target during t is along the x-axis and has the same magnitude of np but is in the opposite direction. We can write this relation in component form as j, np, 9, 36, Parenthesis, where the minus sign indicates that J and P have opposite directions. Average force. By rearranging EQ, 9 to 35 and substituting EQ, 936, we find the average force fab acting on the target during the collisions. Fab, J, T, N, T, E. gives us fab in terms of nt, the rate at which the projectiles collide with the target, and versus, the change in the velocity of those projectiles. Velocity change. If the projectiles stop upon impact, then in e point 9.37 we can substitute, for versus, bv zero bv 9, 38, closing parenthesis, where BB and BF0 are the velocities before and after the collision, respectively. If, instead, the projectiles bounce rebounds directly backward from the target with no change in speed, then BF. And we can substitute BVFB versus BTV. Opening parenthesis, 9, 39, in time interval t, an amount of mass mnn collides with the target. With this result, we can rewrite e q.937 as fab m t b 9 to 40. This equation gives the average force fab in terms of mt, the rate at which mass collides with the target. Here again we can substitute for versus the 9 to 38 or 9 to 39 depending on what the projectiles do. Point five. The figure shows an overhead view of a ball bouncing from a vertical wall without any change in its speed. Consider the change. P. P. Question mark. In the ball's linear momentum, A is P X positive, negative, or zero. B is P Y positive, negative, or zero. C. What is the direction of Y, Theta, Theta, X? 229943 and an impulse impulse.
The impulse is then answer, which means the impulse magnitude is the angle of is given by answer, which a calculator evaluates as 75.4. Now that the physically correct result of an inverse change of light is displayed answer plus 180. We can tell which is correct here by drawing the components of shape plus 911C. We find that it is actually 75.4180255.4, which we can write as U105. Answer B, the collision lasts for 14 minutes. What is the magnitude of the average force on the driver during the collision? PID for EQ.935 J Fab T, the magnitude Fab dot the average force is the ratio of the impulse magnitude JTO the duration TOF the collision. Calculations. We have Answered using FMA with a 80 kg, you can show that the magnitude of the driver's average acceleration during the collision is about 3.22103 m per second 2329 grams, which is fatal. Surviving. Mechanical engineers attempt to reduce the chances of a fatality by designing and building racetrack walls with more hip, so that a collision lasts longer. For example, if the collision here lasted 10 times longer and the other data remained the same, the magnitudes of the average force and average acceleration would be 10 times less and probably survivable. 2.583105N 2.61105N Fab JT 3616KGM S0.014 SJ Mutan 1JYJX J J2JX2JY2 3616KGM S3600 KGM S 9.93500JKGMS Sample problem 9.04 2 dimensional impulse Race car wall collision figure 9 to 11 isolated view of the path taken by a race car driver as his car collides with the racetrack wall. Just before the collision, he is traveling at speed B 70 meters per second along the straight line at 30 from the wall. Just after the collision, he is traveling at speed B of 50 meters per second along a straight line at 10 from the wall. His mass is 80 kilograms. And what is the impulse on the driver due to the collision? Ideas we can treat the driver as a particle-like body and thus apply the physics of this module. However, we cannot calculate directly the 2.930 because we do not know anything about the force on the driver during the collision. That is, we do not have a function of our plot for it and thus cannot integrate the line. However, we can think from the change in the driver's linear momentum via EQ.932. Calculations. Figure 9 to 11B shows the driver's momentum P, IJ, P, MP, IT, J, J, F side face T, F side face T, J, J, race car wall collision. Wall X Y 30 degrees 10 degrees 30 degrees path A X Y 10 degrees B Chi P F 105 degrees by Y C J Y J X J The impulse on the car is equal to the change in the momentum. The collision changes the momentum. Figure 9 to 11, a overhead view is taken by a race car and its driver as the car slams into the racetrack wall. B, the initial momentum and final momentum of the driver. C, the impulse on the driver during the collision. J, P, F, P, I, a 
compositional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley Plus before the collision, at angle 30 from the positive x direction, and his momentum after the collision at angle 10. From EQ's point 932 and 9 to 22, from right 9 to 41, we can evaluate the right side of this equation directly on a vector capable calculator because we know Ms. 80 kilograms is 50 meters per second at 10 and is 70 meters per second at 30. Instead, here we evaluate the 941 in component form. X component, along the axis we have JXM and JXX 80 kg, 50 meters per second, 10 to 70 meters per second, 3910 kgm S. Y component, along the axis, JXM VFYV 80 kg, 50 meters per second, sin 10, 70 meters per second, sin 30, 3495 kgm. S3500 kgm S versus IV FJ E FP IMV FMVI M versus F versus IMV smiley face P P F 230 Chapter 9 Center of Mass and Linear Momentum 95 Conservation of Linear Momentum Learning Objectives After reading this module, you should be able to 926 for an isolated system of particles Apply the conservation of linear momentum to relate the initial momenta of the particles to their momenta at a later instant Key Ideas 9.27 Identify that the conservation of linear momentum can be done along an individual axis by using components along that axis, provided that there is no net external force component along that axis. Fill circle of the system is closed and isolated so that no net external force acts on it. Then the linear momentum must be constant even if there are internal changes. P, P, constant, closed, isolated system. Filled circle this conservation of linear momentum can also be written in terms of the system's initial momentum and its momentum at some later instant. P, I, P, F, closed. Isolated system. Conservation of linear momentum. Suppose that the net external force, F, net, J, and thus the net impact acting on a system of particles is zero. The system is isolated, and that no particles leave or enter the system, the system is closed. Putting, F, net, DT skeptical smiley face PT zero which means that P constant zero in EQ nine to twenty seven then yields closed isolated system in words nine to forty two if no external force acts on a system of particles, the total linear momentum of the system cannot change. P. This result is called the law of conservation of linear momentum and is an extremely powerful tool in solving problems. In the homework we usually write the law as P. I. P. F. Closed. Isolated system. In words, this equation says that, for a closed, isolated system, total linear momentum, total linear momentum at some initial time t, at some later time t, 9 to 43, dot, caution, momentum should not be confused with energy. 
In the sample problems of this module, momentum is conserved but energy is definitely not. Equations 9 to 42 and 9 to 43 are vector equations and, as such, each of the two equations corresponding to the conservation of linear momentum in three nuclear directions is in, say, an XYZ coordinate system. Depending on the forces acting on a system, linear momentum might be conserved in one or two directions but not in all directions. However, if the component of the net external force on a closed system is zero along an axis, then the component of the linear momentum of the system along that axis cannot change. In a homework problem, how can you know if linear momentum can be conserved along, say, an x-axis? Check the force components along that axis. If the net of any such components is zero, then the conservation applies. As an example, suppose that you toss a grapefruit across a room. During its flight, the only external force acting on the grapefruit, which we take as the system, is the gravitational force. F. G. Comma. Which is directed vertically downward. Thus, the vertical component of the linear. Momentum of the grapefruit changes, but since no horizontal external force acts on the grapefruit, the horizontal component of the linear momentum cannot change. Note that we focus on the external forces acting on a closed system. Although internal forces can change the linear momentum of portions of the system, they cannot change the total linear momentum of the entire system. For example, there are plenty of forces acting between the orbit and the body, but they do not propel you across the room, thankfully. The sample problems in this module involve explosions that are either unconventional, meaning that the motions before and after the explosion are along a single axis, or two-dimensional, meaning that they are in a plane containing two axes. In the following modules, we consider collisions. 195 Conservation of Linear Momentum with BMS are the known velocities with. In symbols, this gives us VHS REL BMS 9 to 47 for BMS VHS REL. Substituting this expression for BMS into EQ.946 and then substituting EQ's point 9.45 and 9 to 46 into EQ point 9.44, we find MD 0.20 MVHS REL 0.80 MVHS, which gives us VHS 0.20 REL or VHS 2100 km per hour. 0.20500 km per hour 2200 km per hour Answer velocity of follower relative to sun velocity of follower relative to module velocity of module relative to sun sample problem 9.051 dimensional explosion relative velocity case follower one dimensional explosion Figure 9 to 12 a shows a space hauler and cargo module of total mass m traveling along in zaxos in deep space. They have an initial velocity of magnitude 2100 km per hour relative to the sun with a small explosion. The propeller ejects the cargo module of mass 0.20 m 5.912 b. The hala then travels 500 km per hour faster than the module along the axis. That is, the relative speed will between the hauler and the module is 500 km per hour.
What then is the velocity of the higher relative to the sun? The idea because the Haller module system is closed and isolated, its total linear momentum is conserved. That is, 9 to 44 the subscripts I and prefer to values before and after the ejection, respectively. We need to be careful here. Although the momentum of the system does not change, the momentum of the Haller and module certainly do. Calculations. If the motion is along a single axis, we can write the and velocities in terms of their x components, using a sign to indicate direction. Before the ejection, we have pi mbi. 9 to 45 mbi the velocity of the ejected module relative to the sun the total linear momentum of the system after the ejection is then pf 0.20 mbms 0.80 mbhs 9 to 46 the first term on the right is the linear momentum of the module and the second term is that of the power P, IP, F versus, HSV, I figure 9 to 12 A A space hauler, with a cargo module, moving at initial velocity B, the hauler has ejected the cargo module. Now the velocities relative to the sun are for the module and for the hauler. Versus, HS versus, MS versus, I. AP cargo module hauler 0.20 MBMS GHSP 0.80 MXX The separation can change the momentum of the parts but not the momentum of the system. Additional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley Checkpoint 6 An initially stationary device lying on a virtual floor explodes into two pieces, which then slide across the floor, one of them in the positive x direction. A. What is the sum of the momentum of the two pieces after the explosion? B. Can the second piece move at an angle to the axis? See what is the direction of the momentum of the second piece. Nine center of mass and linear momentum calculations. Linear momentum is also conserved along the axis because there is no net external force acting on the proton and pieces along that axis. Thus we have kicks PFX, 9 to 49 where kicks 0 because the coconut is initially at rest. To get PFX, we find the X components of the final momentum, using the fact that PISA must have a mass of 0.50 M, 0.20 M, 0.30 M, PFA, X 0.50 M, BFA, PFB, X 0.20 M, BFB, X 0.20 M, BFB, is 50, PFC, X 0.30 MBFC, X 0.30 MBFC COs 8. Equation 9 to 49 for the observation of momentum along the axis can now be written as PIX PFX PFA, X PFB, X PFC, X. Then, PFC 5.0 meters per second and BFB 9.64 meters per second, we have 0, 0.50 MBFA 0.30 M, 9.64 meters per second, plus 50 0.30 M, 5.0 meters per second, plus 80, from which we find BFA 3.0 meters per second. Answer sample problem 9.06 two-dimensional explosion, momentum, coconut two-dimensional explosion, a 
firecracker placed in the coconut of mass M, initially at rest on a frictionless floor, blows the coconut into three pieces that slide across the floor. An overhead view is shown in Fig.913 A. C, with mass 0.30 M, has final speed BFC 5.0 meters per second. A, what is the speed of piece B, with mass 0.20 M? For the idea first we need to see whether linear momentum is conserved. We note that one of the coconut and its pieces form a closed system, two the explosion forces are internal to that system, and three, no net external force acts on the system. Therefore, the linear momentum of the system is conserved. We need to be careful here. Although the momentum of the system is not changed, the momenta of the pieces certainly do. Calculations. To get started, we superimpose an x-coordinate system as shown in Fig.9.13 with the negative direction of the axis coinciding with the direction of the axis is at 80 versus Additional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley plus figure 9 to 13 three pieces of an exploded coconut move off in three positions along a frictionless floor. A. An overhead view of the event. B. The same as a two-dimensional axis system imposed, with the direction of an 50 with the direction of Linear momentum is conserved separately along each axis. Let's use the Yaxis and write PPFY. 9 to 48 where subscript I refers to the initial value before the explosion and subscript Y refers to the Y component of OR. OR. Component P of the initial linear momentum is zero, because the coconut is initially at rest. To get an expression for P of Y, we find the Y component of the final linear momentum of each piece. Using the Y component version of EQ.922 PYMQY PFA, Y0, PFB, Y0.20 MPFB, Y0.20 MBSIN50, PFC, Y0.30 MBFC, Y0.30 MBFC SIN80. Note that PFA, Y0 because of our nice choice of axes. Equation 9 to 48 can now be written as PFY PFA. YPFB, YPFC, Y. Then, with BFC meters per second, we have 000.20 MBFBSIN50, 0.30 M, 5.0 meters per second, sin 80, from which we find BFB 9.64 meters per second, 9.6 meters per second. Answer B, what is the speed of piece A? F, Pi, B, F, B, B, F, C, A, B, C, B, F, B, F, B, B, F, C, B, F, A, 100 degrees, 130 degrees, A, B, C, B, F, B, B, F, C, B, F, A, 80 degrees, B, X, Y, 50 degrees of the explosive separation can change the momentum of the parts but not the momentum of the system. 9, 6, momentum and kinetic energy in collisions. 236 momentum and kinetic energy in collision. Learning objectives. After reading this module, you should be able to 9.28 distinguish between elastic collisions, inelastic collisions, and completely inelastic collisions.
9.29 identify a one dimensional coordinate is one where the objects move along a single axis before and after the collision. Key ideas 9.30 apply the conservation of momentum for an isolated one dimensional collision to relate the initial momenta of the objects to their momenta after the collision. 9.31 Identify that in an isolated system, the momentum and velocity of the center of mass do not change even if the objects collide. Build circle in an inelastic collision of two bodies, the kinetic energy of the two-body system is not conserved. If the system is built and isolated, the total linear momentum of the system must be conserved, which you can write in vector form as P 1i P 2i P 1f P 2f comma velocity components along that axis M1 B 1i M2 B 2i M1 B 1f M2 V2 F The bodies stick together. The collision is a completely inelastic collision and the bodies have the same final velocity V because they are stuck together. Where subscripts I and F refer to values just before and just after the collision, respectively. Filled circle if the motion of the bodies is along a single axis, the collision is one dimensional and we can write the equation in terms of P. Filled circle the center of mass of a closed, isolated system of two colliding bodies is not affected by a collision. In particular, the velocity com, collision of the center of mass cannot be changed by the momentum and kinetic energy in collisions. P. In module 9 to 4, we consider the collision of two particle-like bodies but focused on only one of the bodies at a time. For the next several modules we switch our focus to the system itself, with the assumption that the system is closed and isolated. In module 95, we discussed a rule about such a system. The total linear momentum of the system cannot change because there is no net external force to change it. This is a very powerful rule because it can allow us to determine the results of a collision without knowing the details of the collision, such as how much damage is done. We shall also be interested in the total kinetic energy of the system of two colliding bodies. If that total happens to be unchanged by the collision, then the kinetic energy of the system is conserved, it is the same before and after the collision. Such a collision is called an elastic collision. In everyday collisions of common bodies, such as two cars or a ball and a bat, some energy is always transferred from kinetic energy to other forms of energy, such as thermal energy or energy of sound. Thus, the kinetic energy of the system is not conserved. Such a collision is called an inelastic collision. However, in some situations, we can approximate a collision of common bodies as elastic. Suppose that you drop a super ball onto a hard floor. If the collision between the ball and floor, or earth, were elastic, the ball would lose no kinetic energy because of the collision and would rebound to its original height. However, the actual rebound height is somewhat short, showing that at least some kinetic energy is lost in the collision and thus that the collision is somewhat inelastic. Still, we might choose to neglect that small loss of kinetic energy to approximate the collision is elastic. 
The inelastic collision of two bodies always involves a loss of the kinetic energy of the system. The greatest loss occurs if the bodies stick together, in which case the collision is called a completely inelastic collision. The collision of a baseball and a bat is inelastic. However, the collision of a wet putty ball and a bat is completely inelastic because the putty sticks to the bat. Inelastic collisions in one dimension, one dimensional inelastic collision figure 9 to 14 shows two bodies just before and just after they have own dimensional collision. The velocities before the collision subscript I and after the collision subscript F are indicated. The two bodies form our system, which is closed and isolated. We can write the law of conservation of linear momentum for this two-body system is, which we can symbolize as conservation of linear momentum. 9 to 50 because the motion is one-dimensional. We can drop the overhead arrows for vectors and use only components along the axis, indicating direction with a sign. Thus, for P and B, we can write M2.950 as M1B1IM2B2IM1B1FM2B2M. 9 to 51, if we know values for, say, the masses, the initial velocities, and one of the final velocities, we can find the other final velocity with EQ.951. One dimensional completely inelastic collision figure 9 to 15 shows two bodies before and after they have a completely inelastic collision meaning they stick together. The body with mass M2 happens to be initially at rest B2IO. The to that body is the target and to the incoming body is the projectile. After the collision, the stuck-together bodies move with velocity b. For this situation, we can rewrite EQ.951 as M1B1I, M1B2B, 9 to 52, or 9 to 53 if we know values for, say, the masses and the initial velocity version 1 IOF the projectile, find the final velocity v with EQ.950. Note that b must be less than b1i because the mass ratio m1 m1 meter 2 must be less than unity. Velocity at the center of mass in a closed, isolated system. The velocity of the center of mass of the system cannot be changed by a collision because, with the system isolated, there is no net external to change it. To get an expression for, let us return to the V. Com V. Com V M1 meter 1 square meter version 1 IP. 1 IP. 2IP, 1FP, 2F total momentum P, I before the collision total momentum P, after the collision 234 chapter 9 center of mass and linear momentum 9 to 14 bodies 1 and 2 move along in zap before and after they have an inelastic collision. M1 M2 before body 1 body 2 X version 1 I version 2 I M1 M2 after X version 1 F version 2 F here is the generic setup for an inelastic collision. Figure 9 to 15 A completely inelastic collision between two bodies. Before the collision, the body with mass M2 is at rest and the body with mass M1 moves directly toward it. After collision, the stuck together bodies move with the same velocity. B. M1 projectile M2 target XXV version 1i after before M1 plus M2 version 2i equals 0 in a completely inelastic collision, the bodies stick together. Two body system and one dimensional collision of fig.
9 to 14. For me, Q, 9 to 25. We can relate to the total linear momentum of that two body system by writing. 9 to 54. The total linear momentum is conserved during the collision, so it is given by the side of EQ.950. Let us use the left side to write. 9 to 55 substituting this expression for an EQ.954 and solving for given. 9 to 56 the right side of the equation is a constant and has that same constant value before and after the collision. Shows, in a series of freeze frames, the motion of the center of mass for the completely inelastic collision of Fig.915. Body 2 is the target, and this initial linear momentum in EQ.956 is body 1 is the projector, and its initial linear momentum in EQ.956 is known as the series of freeze frames progresses to an end beyond the collision, the center of mass moves at a constant velocity to the right. After the collision, the common final speed both the bodies is equal to this is then the center of mass travels with the stuck together bodies. Versus, 1i and 1b, 1i, p, 2i and 2b, 2i 0. Versus, com b, com p, and 1 meter 2p, 1i p. 2im 1m2 versus com p p p 1ip 2ip p mb com m1 meter 2p com p b com p mb 23596 momentum and kinetic energy in collisions xm1 version 1i version 2i equals 0 meters 2 meters 1 plus m2 equals vcom collision vcom the com of the two bodies is between them and moves at a constant velocity here is the incoming projectile the com moves at the same velocity even after the bodies stick together here is the stationary target Figure 9 to 16 some freeze frames of the two body system in Fig.915, which undergoes a completely inelastic collision. The system's center of mass is shown in each freeze frame. The velocity of the center of mass is unaffected by the collision. Because the bodies stick together after the collision, their common velocity must be equal to versus com B, B, com checkpoint 7 body 1 and body 2 are in a completely inelastic one-dimensional collision. What is their final momentum at their initial momenta are, respectively, A 10 kgm S and 0, B 10 kgm S and 4 kgm S, C 10 kgm S and 4 kgm S. 236 Chapter 9 Center of Mass and Linear Momentum Additional Examples Video and Practice Available at Wiley Plus MHM Versus There are two events here. The bullet collides with the block. Then the bullet block system swings upward by height. Figure 9 to 17 A Ballistic Pendulum Needs to measure the speeds of bullets. Sample problem 9.07 Conservation of momentum, ballistic pendulum here is an example of a common technique in physics. We have a demonstration that cannot be worked out as a whole, we don't have a workable equation for it. So, we break it up into steps, if we work separately, we have equations for them. 
The ballistic pendulum was used to measure the speeds of bullets before electronic timing devices were developed. The version shown in Big.917 consists of a large block of wood of mass M5.4 kg, hanging from two long cords. A bullet of mass of 9.5 grams is fired into the block, coming through the rest. The block bullet then swing upward, with the center of mass rising a vertical distance h 6.3 cm before the pendulum comes momentarily to rest at the end of its arc. What is the speed of the bullet just prior to the collision? ideas we can see that the bullet's speed V must be the rise height. However, we cannot use the conservation of mechanical energy to relate these two quantities because surely energy is transferred from mechanical energy to other forms such as thermal energy and energy to break apart the wood as the bullet penetrates the block. Nevertheless, we can split this complicated motion into two steps that we can separately analyze. One, the bullet block collision, and two, the bullet block rise, during which mechanical energy is conserved. Reasoning step one, because the collision within the bullet block system is so brief, we can make two important assumptions. One, during the collision, the gravitational force on the block and the force on the block and the force are still balanced. Thus, during the collision, the net external levels on the bullet block system is zero. Therefore, the system is isolated and its total linear momentum is conserved. 9 to 57 2, the collision is one-dimensional in the sense that the direction of the bullet and block just after the collision is in the bullet's original direction of motion. Because the collision is one-dimensional, the block is initially at rest, and the bullet sticks in the block. YCQ.953 will express the conservation of linear momentum. Replacing the symbols there with the corresponding symbols here, we have 9 to 58 reasoning step 2. As the bullet and block now swing up together, the mechanical energy of the bullet block earth the MMMB. Momentum before the collision, total momentum after the collision. The system is conserved. 9 to 59. This mechanical energy is not changed by the force of the force on the block, because that force is always directed perpendicular to the block's direction of travel. Let's take the block's initial level as our reference level of zero gravitational potential energy. Then conservation of mechanical energy means that the instant kinetic energy at the start of the swing must equal its gravitational potential energy at the highest point of the swing. Because the speed of the bullet and block at the start of the swing is the speed immediately after the collision, we may write this conservation as 9 to 60 combining steps. Substituting for V from EQ.958 leads to 9 to 61 answer. The ballistic pendulum is a kind of transformer, exchanging the high speed of a light object with a bullet for the low, and thus more easily measurable. Speed of a massive object is long as 630 meters per second. 0.0095 kilograms, 5.4 kilograms, 0.0095 kilograms, 229.8 meters per second, 2.0.063 meters, EMMM 22 GH, EMMM 2 MMGH, mechanical energy at bottom, mechanical energy at top. 97 elastic collisions in one dimension. 37. 97 elastic collisions in one dimension. Learning objectives. 
After reading this module, you should be able to 9.32 for isolated elastic materials in one dimension, apply the conservation laws for both the total energy and the net momentum of the colliding bodies to relate the initial values to the values after the collision. Idea. Filled circle and elastic collision is a special type of collision in which the kinetic energy of a system of colliding bodies is conserved. If the system is closed and isolated, its linear momentum is also conserved. For a one-dimensional collision in which body 2 is a target and body 1 is an incoming collision, conservation of kinetic energy and linear momentum. 9.33 for a projectile hitting a stationary target, identify the resulting motion for the three general cases, equal masses, target more massive than projectile, projectile more massive than target. Yield the following expressions for the velocities immediately after the collision. M1, M2 and elastic collisions in one dimension. As we discussed in module 9 to 6, everyday collisions are inelastic but we can approximate some of them as being elastic. That is, we can approximate that the total kinetic energy of the colliding bodies is conserved and is not transferred to other forms of energy. Total kinetic energy before the collision. Total kinetic energy after the collision. B1F. B2F. M1 meter 2 version 1i. 2M1 meter 1 square meter version 1i. Closing parenthesis. This means. The collision, the kinetic energy of each colliding body may change, but the 